flawless victory. We're in San Francisco in the belly of the beast and we're talking to people who's supporting the Democratic uh, candidates for 2020. And we're just gonna see what's on their mind and how they feel about President Trump and why they wanna support the person that they're supporting. Let me ask you this, who do you support for the 2020? I, I saw Bernie twice yesterday and he was just awesome. I, I couldn't stop thinking about him. He, really? He's, he's the real deal, yeah. I'm a Biden-Harris ticket. Biden-Harris. Why not Harris Biden ticket? I think that Joe Biden would be a great running mate. As vice president, he's proven that he knows how to do the job. That would be, I, I would love that. That would be awesome if I thought that that could really happen. I just don't think we're ready for that, and I don't think it will happen. Well, who are you here supporting? Uh, I see, because I see Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Okay. So why, why Bernie over, like, Camilla Harris? Uh, for one thing, you know, uh, Bernie's been around a long, long time. I don't think Camilla Harris uh, vetted in enough time as a senator. You know what I'm saying? So she doesn't, to me, she doesn't have enough experience, really. You know, our world right now, especially the United States of America, we are under attack. So you See? think so you think Bertie is our best chance for taking out President Trump? Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely. It's just that I'm still worried about Russia, though. You still worried about Russia? Yeah, because I haven't heard anybody say that they have cured the problem yet. <laughs> you know, and I'm serious about that. I'm, uh, I'm on a lot of I'm political bound. I haven't seen nothing come across saying that. Anything about what they've done. So I'm really, I'm really, really concerned about that. So what do you think about Kamala Harris so running for president? So you think she has the best chance of being I mean, President Trump? a very Trump? strong woman. Very strong. And yeah, I do. I'm very impressed by her. I, I haven't really followed her until now. And I, I really like her. What qualities do you think she has that will bring everybody over to her? Again, being personal. And she sees, she looks outside the box of what's needed in this country. And she's a very strong lady. As being an attorney, that she has it in her heart to defend. So tell us why Beto over Bernie Sanders. Oh. <laughs> well, while, 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 while Bernie is, is a fantastic uh, a senator, he's done obviously a lot for the great state. Uh, that he represents as well as our country but i feel like he says the same thing over and over again and i'm not quite sure how much progress we've actually made now that's not necessarily all on him but i i think that he seems a little one-dimensional to me i don't think he's as inclusive with minorities and women i don't think he he's uh really listening and seeing women particularly around the me too movement um and i'm not really all that comfortable with how he would be on foreign policy. I, I'm, I'm really concerned about that. What about Joe Biden? Well, Joe- Because he's like the front runner right now, right? Yeah, Joe, so Joe is obviously somebody that we know. He's comfortable, he's like your grandpa. Um, I think that he too is also a little tone deaf on the Me Too stuff. I think he's, he's really tripped up on some of those things. And I would really like him to really change his ways uh, and, and really listen and, and see what people are saying and feeling instead of this this very uh, robotic response that he's had, which is a little troubling. For me, Bernie Sanders is the one that's really representing the people with the policies. Bernie's been basically giving the same speech for like 40, 50 years. But who knows about cocaine? Anyone ever seen cocaine? Medicare for all, we need to basically focus on the inequalities. Um, and, I, and I also look at the, the, the candidates based on not only the issues, but where their, their support comes from. Bernie support comes from volunteers and people that donate 27 bucks. And the candidates are taking money from special interest groups in the pharmaceutical industry and the fossil fuels industry, you know, whatever it is. That we just can't do it. So you're not supporting who are you supporting for president? I haven't made up my mind. You haven't made up your mind? Yeah, who do you think is who you, well who do you think has the best chance right now? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, Kamala's the queen, so what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Kamala Harris is the queen. This is her hometown too, right? So she has like probably uh, bonus points for that? Uh, yeah, I got it. Thanks, so. It's really well, well loved here. So they're like marching all through the building. The rent is, they're complaining about the rent. They said the rent is too darn high. <laughs> 
So it's amazing to me how they're complaining about the rent, but then they still turn around and support the same people who jacking the rent up. Deal, look at this. It's the Green New Deal. When we resist, I will be 14 and 2030. I'll be 21 and 2030. This is interesting. So everyone's here for the Green New Deal? The Green New Deal is, uh, Sunrise supports the Green New Deal absolutely through and through. We believe it is the most viable option for our future. To create a livable future based in science and justice. How do you think, what, what's the best pathway to get it done? Uh, I think that this upcoming election is really going to tell us, my man, like whether or not um, the immediate future is going to be for the people or it's going to be regressive. Uh, I think that the winning the Senate, when the upcoming elections there, and winning the White House with a real climate leader and a real climate candidate uh, is really important. <laughs> So I see you're pinned there, impeach. Yep, yep. So we, we gotta if, do that. if you could say there's like one thing today that they can impeach President Trump for, what would that be? Crimes. <laughs> I, again, I like to state the obvious, you know? Right, right. He's committed so many crimes, obstruction of justice. No collusion, no obstruction. Uh, moral crimes, hate crimes, uh, he's he's bad news. Um, so let's, let, like dangerous. if we, cause see, if like we're like in a, a court and we have to say specifically one thing because you know that's how they deal, right? Oh, I mean, no, so if we could just right. go with one, what would it be? No, I can't think. I can't think. No. That's so what is what is the best way to to impeach him then? The, I wish they could impeach him now. Now is the time to impeach him. But I just feel like. Uh, it's all politics, it's all politics. But I think Nancy Pelosi is doing the right thing. She's not, she, I think she's, she wanna get the facts first before she starts doing the in inquiry and stuff. How, after two and a half years, almost three years with yeah. the Mueller report right. and everything, right. do you not think that's enough to impeach him? Or what, what more does she need if they have the Mueller report to impeach President Trump? Well, I, well, I think like I said, Nancy Pelosi, she knows, she knows how to play the game. She knows how to play the game. Tell me the, the the number one thing you dislike about President Trump. Uh, I think There's many, right? <laughs> yeah, like what's the what's the what's the what's the like the one at the tippity tippity top? The tippy tops. It's just a bad person, you know. Like if he, if there were any ounce of goodness within him, there could be some redeeming quality. But he's just a really bad person. I don't think you can overcome that. Yeah. yeah. All the, all the policies that he's putting in for the rich and... Whether it's xenophobia, racism, classism, uh, you know, all of those are just like, that just equates bad person. Like someone who just is selfish and looking out for themselves. Yeah. So what do you think is like the number one reason why Trump should go? Really? <laughs> what, what, what trick question is that? Because <laughs> he hollers at press people? Because what? I mean, what do you want me to start? He's disrespectful, he's rude, he's embarrassing. He should not, he doesn't represent us. If that's not a representative of this country that I believe in right now, but he is. That's the worst part. People voted him into office. So I think we need to get the discord back. I think we need to get some truth back into how we engage and we begin to pull, move policy forward that's going to be for all of us is for the good. And not being just divisive. I don't like it. it doesn't do us anything. So do you, would you say that Trump, President Trump created the division that we're seeing in America today? No, America created the division that we're seeing in America today. What we're experiencing right now is we had a, we had a, we had a, we had Obama. People didn't like that. A lot of us did. A lot of people didn't, and they want to do whatever they can to have the opposite of Obama, and that's what we have. So we did it as America. Period. And we we went from one extreme to who we are to the other extreme. The funny part about it. If each extreme is mad, and like, oh, I can't believe, this friend of mine said to me, she said, we were like, I can't believe Trump is in. They said, that's how we felt about Obama. I was like, what? I'm 
Why? What? So what do you think about the the Mueller report, and do you yeah. think it do you think it calls for impeachment right now of oh, President yeah. Trump? Yes, yes, yes. So that's what I'm talking about. See, Mueller said, yeah, because the Russians came in and messed up our, our election, saying there was somebody else in the section. So has anybody cured that problem? Yeah, exactly. I wonder. So did they did they say exactly how they did it? On the to do the report? Yeah. Did they exact, say exactly how they did data, it? Data, statistics, data. Something like that, yeah, right? Yeah, something like that. Like just, but something needs to be done because we don't need Russia doing it again in 2020, that's what I'm right? About. And they will do it because he can't. That, that means he go for another four years. If you if you could pick one thing that would give them a valid reason, I mean, to impeach President Trump, what would it be? <laughs> You're so I mean, I mean, if you if you to lay out just one, right? What would it be? I mean, it seems like the lowest hanging fruit is uh, obstruction of justice. No collusion, no obstruction. But uh, you know the the, the conspiring uh, and, and and coordinating with with the Russians, and I know that there's a lot of technicalities around the word collusion and, and whatnot. But it sure seems to me like uh, they they worked together to alter our election uh, results and uh, and influencing the American people through false uh, social media campaigns and whatnot. After two years and interviewing more than 200 witnesses, the Senate Intelligence Committee has not uncovered any direct evidence of a conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia. That's according to sources on both the Republican and the Democratic side of the aisle. My name is Will Johnson, UnitesAmericaFirst.com. Thank you for sharing this. God bless. DNA Force Plus, our most advanced formula yet. DNA Force Plus is focused on overhauling your body's cellular engines and supporting your optimal energy levels while adapting your body to handle the daily bombardment of toxins. DNA Force Plus contains a combination of the best adaptogens on the market to help your body adapt and bend, not break. Hand-picked adaptogen herbs help protect your body on a cellular level. It's time to try the newest version of one of our most powerful formulas yet with DNA Force Plus. Available at InfoWarsLife.com today.